What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. All-in-one computers are great space savers, but usually you can't have high-end components due to space and cooling limitations. Joshua Judy threw away that idea with his latest project. He went all out and built a fully water-cooled beast behind a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor, which he calls ahead of the curve. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Joshua Judy, and this is Ahead of the Curve. I got a 34-inch ultra-wide, and I just love it for playing games, and decided that it would be really nice if there was a case that actually kind of hugged it. So, sketched it out a few times, liked what I saw on paper, and decided to learn to draft so I could get all my angles and my dimensions right. I had the concept down of drafting. I took some classes years ago, but I hadn't done it in so long, it was like learning it all over again. This is essentially like what you would do with a wall build, only it's bent to match the monitor. The aluminum frame has an empty channel for wire management, and all of the individual components have their own LED sandwiches, as I like to call them. Made them out of acrylic sandwiched between aluminum that can be side lit, like we do with amplifier racks in cars sometimes, so that it gives a halo effect around all of the components. I went with just white lighting everywhere and it's actually hard to match white lighting because you have several different color temperatures. You gotta make sure your LEDs are the right color. In the water cooling loop, I decided to go with individual radiators so that I could keep the curve uniform and not break it up with a couple of square radiators or have to put them up with the other components. That also required I had to bend these individual tubes a little bit too. That was kind of tricky, but I like how they turned out. I decided to make a window for the back of it to keep people's fingers out of it went with standoffs to kind of give it an open airflow and that way you can really admire all the interior. As you can see the back panel it would have been hard to get to for your cabling so I brought all of the front panel cables around behind the motherboard to a breakout panel underneath the monitor. And speaking of the monitor it's held in place by a repurposed stand that I cut up and used the components out of. For hardware I'm running a 1900X Threadripper with 32 gigs of Team Elite RAM on a ASRock motherboard. For storage on the motherboard, I have a 250 gig Mushkin Pilot series and a pair of Kingston SATA drives as secondary storage. The loop is built almost entirely of Primo Chill parts, except for the water blocks, which are bits power for the GPU and Bixkey for the CPU. The power supply is a 750 watt Intermax and of course, a 2070 Founders. What an incredible project, Joshua. I'm sad that I didn't get to see it in person, but the way that you daisy chain the radiators in the bottom is a great idea. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.